the channel. I hope you're having a great day. I have a bell truss wig I'm going to show you guys, but before I do, let me tell you about the piece I am wearing right now. This is one of my tried and true pieces. This is John Renault Fiery. It is a synthetic HD wig, and the color that I have is 6F27. Now, the lace on this piece is phenomenal. I'm able to wear it back off of my face, and the the line here is almost undetectable and it's because of these highlights here in the front the way they have placed the coloring in this wig I think is really great but this video is not about fiery this is about robusta from bell tress I love this piece this is one of my very favorite colors from bell tress um, it's part of the cafe collection which is a series of colors that they have done based around the colors that you would find um, in coffee. So lots of rich browns, um, caramels, some honey blondes, just a beautiful series of colors. And again, this is one of my favorites. This is mocha with cream. So this is a light ashy brown color. It has hints of caramel in it. It has brown and a beautifully done dark brown root, which I absolutely love. It gives it lots of dimension. Overall, a lighter color, but still enough contrast in it that it's just not a stark bright blonde. It's definitely more ashy and very dimensional. I love, love, love this color. I'm excited to try it on. Okay, so Robusta is a 100% hand-tied lace front piece. So a hand-tied piece is going to come across more natural than anything done with a machine. Um, the Where you put the hair, it swivels better around the knot when it is hand-tied, so the movement is more natural. It can move off of your face a lot easier. Um, it comes up out of the cap kind of at an angle instead of just coming out flat, which gives it more volume and makes it look more natural. So a hand-tied piece always looks more natural and moves more natural than anything done with a machine. So. The lace is hand tied in this one. Also, the mono part here is also done by hand, so it's gonna give just the hairline and anything that has to do with the top of the cap is gonna look very natural. It has open wefting in the back, nice and stretchy, adjustable ear tabs, adjustable nape. Um, again, this is heat friendly, like the other wigs I've been showing you from this collection. I don't know if I do too much with heat other than maybe kind of redefine the curls. I don't know if I try to change the curl pattern. Um, you wouldn't want to mess up anything. It's just a beautiful piece as is, but you can knock out any frizz that you see on the bottom with a heat styling tool, no hotter than 350 degrees. Did I say toe grease? Doug grease, 350 degrees. <laughs> The sides are about 11 inches long. Um, the back is 11 to 12 inches. The nape back here is four, and the weight is 4.1 ounces. All right, that is Robusta. I am going to go put her on so you can see what she's all about. Be screenshot ready. Here are all the details on Bell Trusses Robusta. Okay, here she is. This is robusta. I lost my notes there for a minute. I absolutely love this piece. I think it is absolutely adorable. It's one of my very favorite colors from the cafe collection. This is mocha with cream. I think it's so beautiful and dimensional and natural looking. I'm just a huge, huge fan of mocha with cream. Again, this is a light ash brown with hints of caramel brown blended in a medium honey blonde highlights and a dark brown root. So dark brown root, which you had me right there at root. I love a rooted piece. And then all of these honey blondes and caramels and light blondes running through it. Also with the dark strands mixed in just makes it look so dimensional and just absolutely beautiful. I just really, really love this color and this piece. All right, this piece has some really good movement to it. It's a bob, but um, it's meant to be worn in this loose wave. And I feel like the more I kind of floof it up and mess with it, the more wave I can get out of it so I can make it um, very big and voluminous or I can kind of calm it down and just give it slight movement down here on the bottom, um, whichever way feels more comfortable for you. But this is heat friendly, so you could add some more movement, maybe pull out um, you know, some smaller strands and if you have a heat wand heated to uh, no more than 350, you could wrap it around the heat wand and give it a little bit more defined curl here on the sides and kind of break up more of the loose wave and give it a little bit more curl. 
Um, I think that would be super cute to do. Um, when you take a wig out of the box, I mean, just depends on the way it's been sitting, how long it's been sitting, but the strands tend to just kind of conform to however it was laying in the box. So you notice this side looks a little duller and flatter. This side has some more movement, but that's easily fixed with water. If you are um, trying to style a synthetic piece, you can get it wet and just move the fibers around up here in the root to kind of get it out of your face and get it laying where you want it to lay. Um, it's good for reshaping curls, um, straightening out curls that maybe are too curly. There's lots of things you can do with just water, so you don't even have to put heat on your wig and compromise the strands. I would be careful even with a heat friendly wig putting too much heat on it too often um, the less heat you use the newer it's going to look for a longer period of time so water is always an option when styling a wig as well now this is a hand tied lace front and then it has a mono middle part so this is only going to be able to be parted in the middle but again with the dark knotting you can definitely see the knot so if this were mine that I knew 100% I was gonna keep forever and ever and not want to send back, then I would probably take some tweezers and just pluck right along here and pluck out some of those uh, strands just to kind of open up that lace front a little bit and disguise the look of knots. So from far away, it looks natural, but if you are talking close up with anyone, I would probably be self-conscious that the knots were showing. So just me personally, I would probably want to pluck them out totally up to you but if you want to wear it off your face with this color as you can see you can see that knotting so it might be a little trickier but again she's so so cute just wearing down you may not even want to do that now she feels wonderful the cap feels great there's no bunching um, it's not too loose so if you're an average cap size this is gonna work great for you the ear tabs fit where they are supposed to um, so I just I really like this cute little wig this would be great for summer too because it's lightweight and it just looks fun like you you know just came in off the beach and your hair is just tousled by the wind so, all right let me give you a 360 to show you all sides there's the right the back and the left side all right there she is I'm a big fan if you need robusta in your life head on over to wigs by pattiespearls.com the manufacturer is Beltrust. the style is robusta and the color I'm showing you from the cafe collection is the beautiful mocha with cream all right I will see you guys next time bye